Hey kids, Mr. Glenn here. Now the sound is slightly different today on this video. That is because I've got to get the sound going through my laptop microphone so that you will be able to hear the songs that we are going to be making inside Arcade MakeCode. So far we have our games which are working in here and we've got no sound at the moment but inside the music tab which is right here we can go and create our own music or at least we can go and add our own music and in my block you can actually see that I've got play song and I've got it looping in the background so I can continue to play my music if you look closely you can see they're made of little blocks of sound so we can go and do this and create this inside the assets tab when we go to the assets tab you can see I've got a piece of music that's right here. Okay, so that's my music that I'm making for my game at the moment. So that's the music for my game at the moment. So I'm going to go and hit the green tab inside my assets tab. And go to the green tab, and I've got song in here. So I've got this block that says song. When I go to the block that says song, this is where I can go and create bits of music. So let's have a look around here, to, so we know what is what and how things work. At the top, you've got all your sounds. So, you've got a lemon, cherries, burger, computer, car, fish, cat, duck, dog. And each sound makes a different song, a different sound. So if I go and play and put this here, I wonder if you can actually hear that. So I'm gonna turn my sound up as I play it. When I play this now, at a speed of 120, the tempo is 120, so it's quite fast. Okay, if I slow this down and go to 100. Let's do it even half the speed. Okay. So what I can do now is I can go and add another measure perhaps. I can go and add number three and I can just scroll along here and now I've got another space. Now at the moment this is my treble clef and I can go and add a bass clef underneath. So if I want something that's lower in, lower in sound, I can go and add something that's lower in sound. Let's go and choose a bit of a oh, it's a horrible sound. Let's go and use a duck. Let's go and see what it sounds like now. Let's go and move this up to 100 so it's a little bit faster and it's not wasting so much time. So, so far, so terrible. Okay, so I'm going to give this my, uh, my song, Pirate Song, like that. So I've got a name. And when I hit done and I'm ready with my song, I can go and hit done and save it. Okay, remember that you can go and you can go and remove things and just by dragging your mouse over these like this and you can go and get rid of anything you want and you can go and add different different sounds okay so go and create a beautiful song perhaps using both the treble and the bass clef so you've got a nice uh, mix of songs anybody who knows about um, chords knows that they can go and add they can go and add chords in there if they want to. Okay, so if you want to go and add multiple sounds in there, you can do it at the same time. Okay, when you're ready, you can hit done, and then that'll have a thing called Pirate Song. It's called Pirate Song Zero. And then inside your your block here, you'll simply go and you will simply go and add it as play song. Play song, and you go and choose your song in your assets tab. And so there's the one that I made a moment ago, which is that, Pirate Song Zero. And then inside the block at the end, you need to go and choose looping in the background so it continue to play in the background. Right, that was long, but 
that shows you how the music works and you are now free to go and create something amazing for your theme song. As always, good luck.